guys now let's talk and get back to attachments now in previous videos I was talking about that you need to lose these attachments well now we're going to tie the attachment issue with judgments okay um, you don't judge anything that you don't care about that you're not attached to you don't you, you just don't it you only judge things that you care about but can you see the upside down twistedness of that that unconditional love true love real love is non-judgmental totally and it is absolutely the best love that there is but in that undivineness of undivine feminine and masculine going down to those lower energies it got twisted upside down and it became a good thing a part of love to be attached to something so if you're attached to something then that means you love it even though just the word alone if you attach to something you have you have put yourself in contact you've merged with that thing in in you've attached energetically and it's like if you attach to something you are dragging it down more than likely if you've attached to something you are pulling energy from it so it's exactly the opposite of true love that you can absolutely love anything person place thing event without being attached to it and as a matter of fact that's true love that you if you attach to something just by attaching to it you're going to alter it in some way and unconditional love true love and loving something some person place a thing is not wanting to alter it True love is loving it exactly the way it is. Therefore, unconditional true love, you would never want to attach to it. Because that would disrupt its pattern. That would disrupt it. Your energy would interfere in that thing that you love. Why would you want to do that? But we've been trained and taught these things in order to go to the lower vibrations to lower things because in that attachment and love you're taught love is attachment you love your country you're attached to it you love your church you love your children you love your spouse you love your friend and in that attachment which you're saying the words acting like a getting close merging with but that alters what that entity is it interferes with it now on the other side we are totally one but yet we don't have that attachment we have a merging and understanding that your vibration is your vibration and I honor it in every way every way and I would never ever in that love of oneness and respect for who you are I would never even dream of interfering with that vibration that's how we love on the other side and in that there is no fear of anybody attaching to you interfering with what you're doing in that there's no worry about anybody judging you there's no worry about any of that stuff because there's an absolute innate understanding that everything around us is who we are as one and we honor and love it and would never dream of interfering with whatever experience that other part of who we are part of the oneness is doing but here within this game we've been taught wrong things we've been taught that you attach and that equals love and when that attachment eventually no matter what it is the attachment will go wrong because that interfering the other entities want to do something different then what you, which direction you're going to and all of a sudden they're pulling this way and you're pulling that way we even say that we grew apart we grew apart till it's so uncomfortable that you rubber band away from you pull each other go like this and you snap away from each other not understanding that that attachment was never true love 
that attachment was a needy, perverted, lower vibration love. One that was sapping energy from the other thing, no matter if it was a child, a partner, or a country. By attaching, you're drawing energy. Unless you know exactly what you're doing, which not very many people do, when you attach to something, you're pulling energy from it. Now, even though a lot of people think, well, they're going to join this church and they're going to give. As I've said before, nobody gives or does anything in any of those good things unless it makes them feel good. And if it makes you feel good and it's coming from outside of within yourself, then that means you're drawing energy from the person, place, thing, or event. That's not love, guys. So to transition into fifth dimension, you have to learn that. That not being attached to person, place, things, or events does not mean that you don't love them. As a matter of fact, you begin to understand that without that attachment and an absolute um, perspective of honor and trust, that all of those things are operating exactly as they were meant to and that you give honor to all experiences no matter what they are even if they're not things that you would understand or believe from this perspective that you understand that someday you're going to look at this from a different perspective and even if you don't get it now you will get it someday you will understand it someday okay all right Attachment, you're usually attached because it makes you feel better. If it makes you feel better from outside yourself, you're drawing energy from them. You're interfering with their vibration. That is a conditional love. That is, I need from you. I need you to give me. That is very conditional loving. It's not unconditional love, and that's not what the higher vibrations of true love are. That's why you don't attach. And when you don't attach, then there's not this fear because in that attachment, what happens is we go, oh, I feel better when I'm attached to person, place, thing, or events. So if I don't have it anymore, I won't feel as good and I need that. So there becomes this watch, watch, watch. So you judge everything that's going on around it. Is something going to interfere where I won't have access to my country that makes me feel good? or my job, or my money, or my child, or my lover. Something going to interfere with that. Okay, now we're looking around and we're judging. What's going to interfere? What's going to interfere and interrupt that energy that I'm getting from that person, place, thing, or event? Okay, none of that is, is 5D. That's all 4D, and it's a great game, and it is huge game on a multi-universal, multi-timeline um, playing field. It is humongous. Huge. I absolutely, there are many, many, many people that will stay and play that game. It is as tricky to get out of as fear. It truly is. Um, I think it's a lot easier, but that's because it really is not one of the things that I struggle with. But, um, in getting out of it, it is it is just as tricky. This game was complex to get this done, and it's complex to get out, especially over years instead of millennium. Millennium. Okay? Hopefully, that makes some sense to you. Uh, thank you for watching. Enjoy some comments down there. If you have any questions over these last few videos, they have been intense, so... Feel free to comment below and I'll try to get to them, answer them, or do a video um, about your question. Okay? Alright guys, that's it for this one. I love you bunches and I'll talk to you later. Bye now.